Good morning, guys. This is Joyce Hall, Knowing Tarot. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, we had a really nice Saturday, just getting house stuff done, and my husband built me a patio. So I got a chance to sit out on that yesterday. Um, today, I'm going to do a pick a card. I haven't done a pick a card in a minute. So I'm going to do a pick a card. Now remember, when I do my pick a cards, which I'll show you the cards in a minute, when you decide do you want pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three, be certain that you don't pick with your mind, okay? Put your, put your mind to the side and let your um, pick be based on what you feel. Go down to your gut and go down to what feels really good to you and then make your pick. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, we have the cards for pile number one, the pyramid. Let me move this out of the way. Card number one. So what will your life be like after the pandemic? Boy, you get the eight of wands. Life is going to move for you at an incredible rapid speed. If you've been sitting around bored or wondering what you were going to do with yourself, no ma'am, here it comes. This can include travel. This could include uh, that job opportunity that you've been waiting to hear from. It could also be contact from friends. Um, this is definitely about things happening in your life quickly. So if you've been looking to get over and get on, this is it. Because eight, the number eight always reminds me of splendor and is what it really means. So splendor, intelligence. So you've got an opportunity coming for you and it's coming quick, fast and in a hurry. Um, I have the King of Swords. The King of Swords um, as an energy, this is about clear thinking, good judgment, uh, sharp intellect, um, looking you in the eye, telling you like it is, uh, straight shooter, this um, could be in terms of a legal situation you were looking for an outcome, um, and it comes to you quickly and in a hurry. This could also be someone that you know, that this could be an individual. This would be someone that is an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. There's even in there, as I look at those eagle eyes, there's some Scorpio in that as well. This is someone that is approaching you who you've been interested in or they've been interested in you, but now they're going to start moving faster than before. Maybe you were just communicating lightly, but not anymore with that eight of, let me turn this this way so you can see. With that eight of wands, that speaks of fast movement. So this person is either it's law and it's an attorney, judge coming at you quickly, or there is a new opportunity, a new boss that is um, one of the air signs or Scorpio and fast movement. Ten of cups. So I, I think this has to do with your relationship. There's a lot of cups here. There could be some relationship, but there is the absolute happiest right there. Ten of cups. You are satisfied. You've got a couple of cards like that that speak of being I'm satisfied. I'm feeling good. You are someone that people come to for nurturing, support, um, telling you their problems, their worries, their concerns. And sometimes when people do that, they don't realize that you have your own worries and concerns, but you've been there for people when they shed tears, when they couldn't sleep, whatever was happening, even if their money was a little bit thin or they didn't know how they were going to make ends meet, but you conquered that. And so the Ten of Cups is like a gift from God, your blessing. You put all that love into your karmic bank account and it's coming back with you with a lot of love back in return, a lot of happiness, a lot of family, a lot of gatherings. That's what's happening to you after the pandemic. A lot of getting back together with those friends, groups. It could be groups of friends that you hang out with. Maybe you go bowling and maybe you play cards, <clears throat> but they'll be coming back around again. What's also going to change is this, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is always about uh, thinking about what you want to do, imagining. Let's put it like that, imagining this, imagining that, whether it be good or bad. 
And sometimes when we spend too much time in our mind, it almost drives us crazy. If you can see him, he's like pleading for a break. Uh, but you overcame that. News started coming at you quickly. It's like you were imagining what's going to happen with your home, uh, things that belong to you. There was a lot of emotions coming at you. Maybe you were feeling very emotional. Maybe even feeling alone and isolated and depressed. But that comes to an end. You can let that go. That is done. Because here I have coming right at you. Boom. God giving you this gift. An Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups speaks of love. Pure love. First of all, Aces are such gifts. They are packed full of power. This is root power. This is essence of life. Pure spirit. This is about imagination and um intuition, opportunities galore. There's so much is spilling over the side of cup. Abundance coming back to you. It's just beautiful. Even relationship with that person coming back with a renewed energy and a renewed truth in the situation. But it's all coming at you quickly. And as it comes to work, like I said, you could that eight of Again, that eight of wands right there could be those resumes that you sent out and coming at. Because here it is, your financial situation is going to take a very nice change. You're going to be very comfortable, feeling very abundant, feeling very blessed. This is someone who has learned to handle your money. And that's the lesson you're walking away with this whole situation from. How best to handle my money. Put something away. Take 10% put it away for a rainy day or whatever. And I'm not going to have to worry anymore. It's terrific for you. And lastly, you get the four of cups. The four of cups can often be very misinterpreted as if someone is so spoiled, they're so selfish, or they're not getting their way. It's not. It's really about this young guy has been offered all these cups. They're all gifts from God. And he's not saying, oh, that's not good enough. He's saying, thank you, God. I've got enough. I feel good. I'm filled up. You've blessed me so much with abundance and gratitude and good health and friendship and family. You went from feeling like this, wishing, hoping, wanting, praying, begging on hands and knees for whatever it is you needed. And you went to this. That says, look at that. Look at the difference in these. This, this card almost looks like somebody's having a psychotic breakdown. All these different images. There's a lady with her eyes closed. There's a book that speaks of work or finance. There's a couple that, that's no more. The cups are all broken. The money is broken. You're broke. Feeling broke. Those words I hurt. I, I hate, I should say. But here, he is satiated and satisfied and content. And that's you. So... Once this pandemic is over, your life is coming back in a fast way, but in a better way because you learned so much. Thank you so much, group number one. All right, group number two. Let's take a look what we have in store for you. The first thing that we have is the chariot. Wonderful card for times like this. How will your life have changed after the pandemic? You are going to be the bravest and the strongest as far as getting over everything that's been happening. The chariot speaks of a man charioting a chariot, driving a chariot. Um, in the original Rider weight deck, there is no reins. This picture, he has reins. The reins are in your mind because this is not an actual event. This is inside of yourself. You deciding, I've been through tough times and I'm going to get over this the way I got over those. I'm coming out of tough times. I'm going to overcome all obstacles. And you do. This even could have you going interviewing because I see right next to that the eight of coins. And the eight of coins is really indicative of having this job, this craft, this skill, and someone really admiring it. Someone thinking that you do good work. Yeah. And then right next to that, I have the uh, Princess of Oros or the 
page of orals is what it really is, page of coins. And this is about job opportunities, new opportunities for you to get out in the world and present to the world what it is that you do. This could be an opportunity in your particular company where you are advancing. This could be a brand new job altogether. Um, it also could be you doing something entrepreneurial that people really like. And it's going to be offering you a lot of stability. You'll be making money from what you do, as well as finding real stability in that, a real opportunity. The way you're going to change is the Ten of Wands. You had a lot of responsibility. The Ten of Wands, being that it's the Ten, talks about completions. And so for you, there's definitely going to be completions of completion of carrying all the burdens yourself. You won't have to do that so much. You won't feel so bogged down and trying to figure out how to make ends meet and how to get to where you need to be. Instead, you'll find yourself uh, feeling lighter and easier because of the new opportunities coming your way. And if you are worried about, well, maybe somebody does the job I want to do, maybe they do it better, don't worry about that. You have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords has a lot of different meanings to it, but the one thing that it does mean is that you will be on top. This is about competitiveness. And it's a lot, like I said, but competitiveness plays a part in that. And it shows me that whatever this opportunity that you want to do, there's going to be competition. There's other people going for that job or other people that want that position. Or maybe you're doing a YouTube channel where you're starting something on your own and other people do it, but you'll do it better. Trust me. Bring yourself to the table and people are going to want to see you. Then we have the Ace of Swords. Love Aces. Aces are about energy. They are the root of all power. I mean, pure spirit energy. And in this case, this is about victory for you. This says that when you go in and do your work, you really can do it. You really are good. You really deserve to be picked, number one. If you look at that sword, it's almost as if it's a phallic symbol because it stands so potent and so ready for whatever comes your way. And you have the ability to cut through all the BS and get to the point where you are fantastic. You are sharp as a razor in your mind, okay, and in the actions. Because like I said, Ace is about power and action. And yeah, this is a gift from God that says, don't worry about the competition. Don't worry about if you can do it. Forget about those burdens. I'm starting you brand new. And lastly for you, there is someone new coming in your life. Now listen, this could be a relationship. This could be a boss, okay? It actually even could be the person that you're dealing with. This is someone that is a fiery person, a Sagittarius, a Leo, um, an, uh, an Aries. Oh, yeah, it could even be a little Capricorn I could see in that. But this is someone who, in Sagittarius, did I say Sag? But this is someone who would, first of all, make a great boss. This guy is a great manager. Um, he is passionate. He makes plans. He follows those plans through. Um, he's someone that you can easily talk to. He does not tell your secrets. He's approachable. People line up to talk to this guy because they like him. He's very charming and he's warm. He's fun, but he is about his business. In addition, this could be someone that you are with or someone you're going to knew, know that says, you know what, we're going to reinvigorate that situation. We're going to bring that energy that, that comes from the ace. We're going to bring it back into this particular relationship and start putting the love where it should be, the friendship where it should be. Because this also lays not only by the, the sword, the Ace of Swords, but also lays by the Responsibility card. So this one could be there to help you with your responsibilities. Like I said, uh, if you had a manager, he would be helping you to take care of your responsibilities. If you're in a relationship, this person has already been helping to support you in the little way that they could, and they will continue to. So group number two, fantastic. 
Good luck to you. Um, Capricorn, Virgo. This could be someone that you are in a relationship with, um, or trying to get in a relation, re relationship with. It also speaks of people who are bankers and financiers that you're going to be able to talk to. And this person is, he's solid, um, can be a little stubborn, can be a lot stubborn actually. Um, he really has to think things through before he makes a decision. He likes the nicer things in life. His work means an awful lot for him. He puts a lot of energy into making things better either for himself or for you. Um, we see the Capricorn up there, the top Capricorn in energy right there with the billy goat. Um, this is someone that has prosperity. I want to have prosperity. So this could be right away you talking to somebody, maybe someone who owns your home, maybe the person at the bank. Um, it very well could be the landlord. Um, this also could be speaking of work and career, someone that owns a business that wants you in there. Um, the next that you have is the two of pentacles. And it says that you were juggling things during this pandemic and you're still going to be juggling things, but you're okay. This person is going to be an assist to you. This guy, this money guy, whether it's, uh, it's someone that you're in a relationship with, like I said, or a boss, or even going and getting a loan. Um, but this person is going to be there to help you to stay balanced and stay upright and keep your money in check. Um, we have the death card. Fabulous card. One of the best cards if you understand that death card doesn't mean death to you dead. It means that the old way that things were for you all, the way things that the way you lived your life or maybe habits that you had, um, the mentality that you had, he's come and he's cleared this out. If you take a look in that card, I don't know if you can see it, but there's old gravestones and skulls and it's rather dark. But what it's saying is that there is, in the end of the day, right behind him is the sun. So you had to get rid of the old to make room for the new. And the new is going to be fantastic. It talks about splendor and really using your mind the right way. And I think this is really going to go with, um, it goes here. This is the six of cups. But I think this is also in terms of relationship. The relationship wasn't right. It wasn't working. Whoever you were in a relationship with, and that relationship could be someone you were working with, collaborating with. It could be a romantic relationship. It needed to die the way that it was. I'm trying to get my hands here out of the way. It needed to die the way that it was. And now it's going to be much better and much different. It's going to be more balanced. It's going to be more about getting along. Let's see if I can get that better. Much better, much better about getting along. It's going to be um, this person coming back in. It's like the relationship had ended and the pandemic didn't do anything but add extra stress onto it. And then you guys started talking or will be talking and then this person comes back in. But it's not the way that it used to be where there was um, distance or cold heartedness or selfishness or you guys didn't have anything to talk about really it was intimacy and that was about it no it's coming back so much better there is light now you even have the nine of cups once again there's that that's that that relationship let me get that up so you can see this is the nine of cups and this is you're getting you're going to get everything that you want this talks about emotions and prosperity um just beautiful living you inviting someone into or in this case back into your life because you have the six of cups and that speaks of nostalgia and with the death card says that that old way wasn't working but now you're bringing this person back because there's a new energy into it it's a new way that it's going to work you've got the page of cups 
and this is awesome. The Page of Cups is coming at you with a message and offer an opportunity. It has news for you and it's good news. It's good news about this relationship. So for you, I see you reinvigorating this relationship. For you, this relationship is going to mean so much. It's going to take this off of you. This is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords really speaks to someone that is losing sleep, is anxious, nervous, worried, constantly thinking about how I'm going to make it, what's going to happen to me, where will I live, how am I going to pay this bill and that bill, all of that. But there's help. You've got help right there. You've got help. So for you, you are going to be fantastic. You've got help, help coming into your life. You're going to be able to juggle all your responsibilities, financial and otherwise. There's going to be renewal of a past relationship for you that you thought was over. You were mad. You were mad at first. You didn't want to be bothered with it. That you thought they were selfish or they didn't care or they were messing around or had eyes for other people. But it's going to come back to you reborn in a beautiful way. It comes back almost nostalgic, almost like fresh, because even in the midst of rubble and something torn down, beauty can still grow. You can still find a beautiful flower in a patch of weeds. And not only that, you're going to like what's happening. You're not just going to listen anymore. There's going to have to be solid action. And then you are bringing this person right back into your life for something so much better with not just words but real actions real magic happening and you're going to be so happy because he's going to help you take off some of those worries and your burdens that you don't need to carry anyways and know that there's always help available you're not far away our our god our universal energy is right here with us um group number three congratulations <laughs> 